All right, we've got a great segment here in Rick's Corner today. Uh, Rick is obviously at the front lines of uh, uh, responding to support tickets and providing phone training and website setups. Uh, and Rick comes across a lot of common questions uh, that a lot of users ask. So today we're going to talk about how to submit your website and your website's sitemap to the Google Search Console. And, and Rick, can you tell us a little bit about what the Google Search Console is actually? Yes. Um, so hello. Um, yeah, you're right. The, um, the questions that we get asked frequently are regarding the, the initial stages of setting up your website, right? And this one comes in quite often, and it's how do I let Google know that my website is here? For those of you familiar with this, this is this was used uh, this was used to be called Google Webmaster Tools, um, and since it has changed its name to Google Search Console. Um, the process in which you basically let Google know that you have an active website that it consists of different um, web pages. Um, and, and how you get that communication going is by setting this account up. So it is, a, it is again, a question that comes up frequently, Jason, and, and the process to set this up is super easy. And I guess that's what we're going to be doing right now. Awesome. And I think, at least for beginners or for even for myself, the majority of the, the main reasons I use the Google Search Console is two things. Is one, basically officially submit my site to Google saying, hey, Google, my website exists, I'm raising my hand. And number two, with the sitemap submission is you're basically handing Google a menu of all the, the web pages that exist on your site, and then Google can decide how they wanna rank all those different pages or if they wanna include the, all the pages or some of the pages in the Google search results. Exactly. So that's how you're going to let them know, like, this is what's currently building up my site. These are the, right. like you said, the web pages that are currently building up my site, so on and so forth. And we're going to cover how to do that right now with, uh, it was, I believe it was an update that you went over. If it wasn't last week, it was a couple of weeks ago at the most, but it's like how to use the, the sitemap tool and all this good stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and jump to it. Jason, if that's okay with you. Yep, let's do it. I'm going to share the controls with you, Rick, and uh, mm -hmm. you can get us started here with the Google Search Console. Okay, perfect. So the first thing that you want to do, and this is very important, um, even though the tool will work if you're using a stationary or temporary domain, it's important for your website to be hosted using your own domain. So that would be step number one. Um, this is why this is associated with the initial stages of your site, right? Because you need to do this first before even letting Google know about your domain. You want to let them know beforehand. So, so everyone gets a directory up, domain name, and basically Correct. you don't want to do double work. So after you connect your mm -hmm. live domain name, that's when you want to probably follow these steps. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to be using this website um, just for this example, and we're going to be using this domain, right? So Google Search Console calls this a property, right? So what we're going to be doing, um, uh, this is the Search Console direct link. Um, it's going to take you to a welcome page. I have already created my account, so it, it, it already, um, already locks me in. Um, if you guys don't have an account already, it's just a matter of setting it up. It's super easy. It's Google, so that's what they're good for, <laughs> at doing, right? Making stuff easy. Um, sometimes and and yeah once once you use this link that again we're going to be sharing with everyone you're going to be taking to this specific page so this would be like the registration process right since I already have uh, an account um, I won't be um, I won't I won't need to take this additional step that I'm going to show you guys which is just add another property it's just this this step that you see here add another property um, when you click on that, add another property, you're going to be taken to this page that we're currently on, right? Basically, um, that's how it's going to work. Now, the method that we're going to be using is the one that's on the right. So URL prefix, that's the one that we're going to use to verify or to add the property, right? Adding a property basically is just verifying that you're the owner and that you have the ability to add the information that they're going to share with you in order to demonstrate or to prove to Google, again, that you're the actual owner. So let me go ahead and add the URL here or the domain. Oh, no, that's not the one that I want to use. I want to use my own. So it's this one right here. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here in the field. Now let's click continue. So it's just checking for the verification. All right. So we have a few ways in which we can, uh, in which we can verify, again, that we are the owners of this site. 
The one that we're going to be using is the HTML tag. It's the easiest and we have a whole field dedicated um, to this type of setup, so it's super straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and click on this one. And what we're going to do is just copy this simple line of code here, right? So I highlight this um, and I copy it and then I'm going to jump back to the brand director's website, All right? So here I'm on the dashboard and what I'm looking for is the design settings. So I'm going to go to settings, design settings, All right? Here to the right, just a second, it's still loading. All right, so here we have this option called custom CSS head, all right? So that's what we're looking for. We're actually looking for the for the head section of your website. Here's where we're going to add the script that verifies that I'm the owner, all right? So I'm adding this to the site. I'm gonna save the changes. If I don't save the changes, there's no way to verify it yet. So just saving. Um, once it has been um, saved, all right, so that's already properly set up, we can go back to the console, to the Google Search Console, and we can click here where it says Verify. All right, so it's checking verification, and there you go, ownership has been verified. Perfect. It's very straightforward. Yeah, and essentially all you did was you're using the HTML tag uh, verification mm -hmm. option, and then you're just copying and pasting that little piece of code and, and then clicking the verify button. Correct, correct, that's that's how, so basically that's how we have already told Google, this is our website, we're, right. we're here, right? Now it's from an <laughs> SEO perspective, you've now just actually officially, by doing that one step, you just officially registered your site with Google and said, hey Google, my site's online, um, start putting me in, in, uh, in the search uh, results uh, on a more official basis by doing this. Correct, correct. Um, so a few things that are important to note at this point, even though there might be some information about the website, there's still not really live information. So it takes a while for Google to pick up this, uh, like the, the activity and like what's going on, but that just takes a few days at the most. Um, other than that, like you're seeing here on my screen, you're able to see like the information that um, they have already presented here. So this is very useful. Again, like Jason stated at the beginning, it gives you like a good idea of how your website is doing, right? And, and how it's gaining um, organic SEO as time goes by. Now, this is like half of, this, of, the, of the presentation at this point, Jason, because I also want to go over how to submit the sitemap. So if that's okay with you, let's go ahead and jump to that section. Yeah, let's, let's do it. That's, we've done one of two, now let's finish two of two. All right, so here on the left, Still on the Google Search Console, there's this option called sitemaps. All right, so what we're gonna be able to do here is to add the sitemap that we can gen easily generate through Brilliant Directories. All right, so let's go ahead and get the sitemap so that we can add it here. I'm gonna jump back to the Brilliant Directories platform here. If I go to the, just a second, because I was searching for that, it's on the, if I go to the toolbox, and I open up the sitemap generator here, what I'm going to be able to do now is that I can tell the platform how frequent I want the sitemap to be generated, right? That means that I don't have to manually generate the sitemap. We can tell the system now, okay, go ahead and do it every seven days, right? Which is basically what we recommend on doing. There's no really a point on overdoing this. Um, seven days is more than enough and super easy. So you can go ahead and choose between seven days and every 30 days. So if you're, if you're starting out, if you're gaining some traction still, um, you can leave it at 30 days, that's gonna be fine. Um, or you can go ahead and jump to the seven days if you know that you have already a lot of traffic um, and a lot of, a lot of people um, registering on your site, creating new profiles, so that's when you wanna to switch to the seven days. Once you select the option, very important to choose the save. So if I choose the 30 days, I need to click save. I'm gonna leave it at seven. I'm just gonna click save, <laughs> even though it's already there. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is uh, generate the sitemap. So I can generate the sitemap. It's creating the sitemap. It takes a, a few minutes. It, it won't take long because the website itself doesn't have too much content. And what's really cool about the automatic, the, like every seven days your sitemap is automatically updated is the, with, with Brilliant Directories, all your search result pages, all the member profile pages, they're all dynamically created. Um, so, 
but it's, sometimes it's hard for Google to find all those new pages because they could be buried deep in the site. Like you, only if you conduct a specific type of search, you're going to find a certain type of search results page. So with the sitemap generator, when it refreshes every seven days, it's basically going to be telling Google, hey, we just added, you know, 500 new pages to our site. Uh, please consider these and they'll figure out which ones that uh, warrant being added to Google search results or not. So it's a really, you just need to do this one time. And what Google, what Rick is going to show you now is how to submit this sitemap to Google. And it's really a set it and forget it situation here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. So yes, again, by creating the by creating the sitemap, you, you you're telling Google this is what the website is built out of, and go ahead and check out the an index or start indexing these other web pages as well. All right. So now let's go ahead and since the um, sitemap has already been generated, we can copy that to the clipboard. Um, it's just this URL pretty much. Um, it's basically what has been copied to my clipboard, and we're going to jump back to the console web page. As you can see here, the, the, the beginning of the URL is already graded out. I don't have to include that. Um, let me copy that one more time. Sorry. Here. Okay, let me copy that to the clipboard and now let's add it here. So I can go ahead and get rid of all this initial information because that's basically all I need. And then I click here where it says submit blue button. All right, so it's submitting, and there you go, the sitemap submitted was successful. Um, okay, got it. So once again, there's there's this, like, um, like Jason just put it, I set it and forget it, because the um, sitemap is gonna be automatically generated depending on the um, on the days that you set up there, on the, on the very useful tool that we have here. And that's basically it, Jason. Awesome, Rick. Just a note, if you wanna go back to the Google Search Console, um, you know, your site might have uh, thousands of pages that, that are part of the sitemap. Google might not choose to index or, or show all the pages in their search results. Um, some pages might be what, what Google considers thin content or very similar content uh, on your site, and they might just choose to show one of uh, the more prevalent pages of your site and exclude other pages of your site. That's not necessarily a negative thing. Google's just trying to give their searchers and their users the best experience. So they just wanna make sure that they're giving the most meaningful content to the visitors and not all the pages on your site may include meaningful content. Some of it could be slightly repetitive um, or what Google considers thin or light pages, which just have such maybe one sentence of information on it and that's not really enough to get uh, ranked uh, that page in Google. So just keep those things in, in consideration there. All right. So Jason, like the, the last thing that you just mentioned, I guess that it, it really depends on how you want to take that type of news. Because if you see if you want to see it as a problem, I mean, <laughs> there's not much that you can do. But if you see it as an opportunity, right, where it actually tells you like these pages need a little bit of love, they need to be worked on, you can get even rid of them because they're not adding anything to your site. Like it does call you to work on your website and I guess that keeping that up to date is always going to be beneficial for you in the long run. 